I've talked in a few days about my uh, strategy for turning like a terrible skateboarding day into just like a fun, productive day. What I always say is like, when I'm feeling terrible, I will specifically focus on tricks that either I suck at or can't do. Because when you go to warm up and you're having a bad day and none of your go-tos are working, it's so frustrating. But if you start trying tricks that you can't do or you normally suck at, your standards are already so ridiculously low that when you don't land them, it's not frustrating. You're like, yeah, par for the course. I shouldn't be able to do this. And you will actually make progress on tricks. So today, the random tricks that I just absolutely suck at. But yeah, basically, I'm uh, not even necessarily like, I'm gonna do all those tricks down this obstacle or over this thing. I'm just gonna try to do those tricks. Uh, and I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but uh, I'm a kickflip nose manualer and a heel flip nose manualer. I suck at both of those through manual. So I think one of the first things that I should just kind of play with is a kickflip manual, just like up the three to manual. I'm not saying that I cannot do it. I feel like it shouldn't take too long to do. I just, it's not like a go-to thing. It's an uncomfortable flick for me. It's hard for me to like, cause I want to like, I, I put so much effort into not mobbing my kick lips that like, I feel like sometimes kick lip manuals make me mob it and it's like very counterintuitive for me. Yes, yes. down and when I feel the board hit my back foot that's when I put the pressure down for manual instead of like trying to kick flip at a manual I feel like a lot of times I would do this like kick flip catch it with my front foot because it was mob mm -hmm. and then set in but now I'm thinking kick flip eh ah uh. I had it oh catch nonsense that was some oopsie daisy it's hard for me to not mob this. I like overthink the mob. The one I did was a little mob, mm. but I want to get one a little bit more structured. See, on some of these, I feel myself pussyfooting around and I want it to be like very, like a lot of these, I feel like I could just go to manual, but if I'm mm. not flicking it right, I don't want it. Nolly heel flip. I taught him how to do nolly heel flips today. I told him the secret. Yep. See. Oh. Finally, I taught Dan something. Yeah, he told me a lot actually. Yep. Dude. Such a secret. Yep. Was literally like, slow it down. Focus on making the nolly happen, and then slide your foot up slowly. Yeah. Like I would always rush it. It's a it's a slow delayed flick. Nolly like heels are slow. Mm-hmm. They're feeling good. Usually, I have really. They're looking good, ones. dude. That's what they're normally like. I'll even take that. Like. Yeah. That's fine. My okay, favorite trick have... growing up. Let's do. Should I try to not heel down the stairs? You should, because yeah, they're looking like solid. Go that way, so you land in the shade. <laughs> You're not wrong, it's like hot today. It right, is I'll warm. I'll do one more not heel five, I'll try it down the stairs. Oh. Good enough. about switch front side big spins and I learned not that I've learned someone doing them yet but I was watching someone do right switch front side big spins and they put their front foot back behind the halfway point that I noticed with Zach when he does front three shoves his 
foot is behind the halfway point. I also realized my big problem with front shoves is my foot never pushes off the ground. So really? I don't know this, but when you do your tricks for a second, you're actually jumping off the ground. So my front shoves, a lot of times I just scoop and then I jump off the board. But I'm never making contact with the ground fully. Holy shit. So it's like, jump off the ground, mm -hmm. foot halfway point, and then I think if I focus on where my nose is, and try to get it back to where it was, yeah. I feel like that'll help me with a faster spin. Yep. And like, Damn, dude. as pivoty as that was, that's progress point. That's all that actually sounds good. It looked good too. Yep. Slowly getting there. I need a, I need a stronger whip. Yes. Yes. Now they're pivoting right now. But you're on the flat. But the momentum's going. I could never do this trick in my life. It's so annoying. Only on a hip. Yeah, hips they work, because that's just, it's a front shove to fake. But what are you thinking like, what are you, what's the thought process with front big spin? I'm only thinking about getting my nose all the way around, and, and then, I'm thinking about making sure my back foot like makes the tail scrape the ground a little bit. Can you like a late scoop? So you're, you're rotating first before you scoop it? I think you're supposed to. Okay. But maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I should scoop first and rotate. I don't know. I'm realizing on that try, I'm locking my shoulders up. You have to be open? I gotta, like that's why I'm pivoting it probably. I gotta fully throw it to fakie. Yep. Just a little bit. I mean, they're not, they're not good, but they are there. Something to work upon. Yep. Let's try it down the street. Okay. Oh, fuck off. That was like first tee. You look good, dude. It was a little, like it felt a little suspicious. Yep. Now it felt better, but it's like going down stuff, I have time. You know what I mean? I got time for you today, cuz. Crap, <laughs> uh, <laughs> down from Big Spin. That's, uh, that's pretty adult mode. Let's get. Someone told me just do a front shove it and catch it, then turn. Maybe if you're like got big pop, yeah. Like maybe a Tiago could do it like that, where he would catch it, uh -huh. line his shoulders up, and then late spin it. Yeah, go. I'm for the regular Joe. Yeah, I'm short. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm six seven, but I'm a really short six seven. <laughs> you might be thinking to yourself, man, I've seen you do front Smith big spin out on a handrail. Yes, and what's the, thing the go? Is, big spins out of grinds, especially Smiths. You're not actually doing front big spin. You're you have so much pressure power loaded in this wheel mm -hmm. that when you go to pop out you just give it the lightest little and it goes and it just shoots wow like your tail never hits the rail it's just like this pressurey scoopy uh nonsense you ca you're catching with your front foot though yeah yeah that's like the guide is yeah, your front it's foot like, and, mm -hmm. I mean? well that is kind of what it feels like it kind of feels like this and it's whipping it you know yeah. <laughs> take it, take it. Oh, God. Perfect. Ah! Dude, what's going on today? Yeah, front big spins. I'm front big spin guy today. You're a front big spin fucking dude. Well, I mean, as everyone's probably realizing as they watch this video, your ones on flat look like crap. No, they look. Something. Tell me one person that can do a front big spin flat to like land completely, like parallel, not like scraping the ground. I can name like 30 skaters. Okay. So don't want to go through <laughs> I can think of a lot of skaters who has them. Basically, any skater who has that like floaty board control, like a Dylan Jeb type. Okay. All of those guys. Yeah. And they'll do this like 
invert it, scoop it. It makes me think that I could front three shot down it. Um, Let's see. Well, I know I'm flat, there's no way. Oh, yeah. It actually wasn't that far. That was pretty good. You notice how I didn't jump at all, though? Yeah. I, I didn't even hear your tail like, pop. It, it never does. <laughs> There you go. Pop that time. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like. Right? Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, should I try it on this side? Okay. It's better lit, I guess. That's good to see. Your ass. You joking? When you try tricks that you can't do, you can just do tricks. Yeah, let's uh throw a backside flip in there. Okay. Because I'm trying to get better at them too. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Woo! Part of me wants to try these tricks out with five. Really? I like how we're like, oh, that's five. It's like, yeah. All these little it's kids. Like, just five and we're like talking about like it's Carl's friends. All these kids just throw themselves down that five all day. We're here going, oh, yeah, I don't know. But what's well, like, you gotta, gotta pick your battles. That's it, you man. Pick your battles. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? All right, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go over to the threes. Because these are longer threes. Yeah. Okay, Stoke, I did it. <laughs> was going switch. way too slow. Switch heel. Uh, also, I realized I don't switch with my board right side, went right. That feels crazy. Uh, I get what you mean. I mean, I don't switch flip off my tail. Really? I do it off my nose, yeah. Oh, you're one of those blokes. I guess the same as my nolly flip. So. Oh. Don't owe that. How sick. I really like that hat. What hat is that? Uh, Missy gave it to me. I don't know. It oh. says like jam for hunger. Okay. I don't know if that's referring to. Uh, it looks like a Keith Haring type of uh, illustration. Yeah. What's funny is like it obviously means like music for hunger. Mm -hmm. But like when I think of jam, I'm just thinking like you just give them strawberry. Give them jam. strawberry jam. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Can you imagine? Wishy washy. You know what's cool? I'm what? gonna jinx it right now. What? I haven't fallen on the front big spin yet. <laughs> don't say it. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you slid, I was really sorry. Focusing. I wanted to catch it with my feet down. Ah, uh, okay. Like, I'm, it's too soon to get like greedy with how I do it. I'm gonna do one more front big spin. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna front big spin this set. Okay. And then I'm gonna come back and try it down the five. I mean, that was pretty good, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh man, I'm just scared. I'm like. I'm here with you. Both feet on it. I that, tried. that was it. I you, fully tried. I reckon um, you got. Yeah, I think I got. I forgot how bad the landing is. Yeah, the, it's like landing on Mars. Right now, I really want to bail this one. Like, I'm feeling that bail. You know what I mean? Uh huh. You got, just, dude. I just got to ignore it. You just got to. You got it. Yeah, I do, I do. I know it all too well. Okay. I, I believe in you. Come on. You got it, dude, right here. Oh, I hate this feeling. I gotta get better at dealing with it now. It's a five stair. Okay. <laughs> okay. All day, dude. Yeah, that one fell. I scooped it wrong and it still almost It still went. I talked about this before. There's a good secret in being scared of something and just being like literally cocky about it. What do you like mean? Like you bullshit your way into being cocky about a trick. Have you ever tried uh, to do that? Yeah, you're like, I got, you kind of own it. Like you're literally just like, you ign you pretend that you're as stupid as it sounds and obvious as it sounds. There's like a way you can develop a muscle memory to pretend you're not scared. And that's where I'm trying to get to right now. And it is this bullshit cocky like, I don't even care mentality that I'm really bad at, but I'm 
the more comfortable I get on my skateboard, the mm -hmm. better I am at controlling my muscle, like my mental muscle memory yeah. too. So that's what we're gonna go for right now. Even though I just suck it twice and everyone's like, no, you clearly can't. have it. You're, yeah. I don't know why you're scared. But you have that inner feeling. And, and, yeah, that is exactly where it is. It's too. right here. It's right. It's so dumb too. Like it's, yeah. there's a physical spot for that fear. <laughs> uh, and we're just, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do you're it right now. You're gonna get it, dude, right here. Right here, it's casual. One more in a row. Another one. He's a two to be true type of bloke. Yep. Yeah, like the second one, I felt so cozy. Like there yeah. was no. You looked super calm and like. Very little going on uh -huh. in this region of my body on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, it's. Those little victories of like, I was talking about this with Sean earlier. Like I always be like, yeah, I suck at like X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. but I can still make myself do X, Y, and Z down stuff. Like I suck at backside flips, but if I wanted to, I could make myself go backside flip an eight. Yeah. I would Jesus. have to force feed it to myself, uh -huh. but I could make myself do it and it wouldn't feel right. And I'd like feel uncomfortable the whole time, but I can make myself do it. Yeah. And today I was like really hoping I could make one trick breakthrough where all of a sudden it felt cozy. Like, that was the I front could, big? Yeah. Like, I could have probably force-fed myself a front side big spin mm -hmm. down this five if I, like, really was like, ugh. Yeah. But it wouldn't have been like it just was. Uh -huh. It's cozy, like... Calm. I you look really trip. calm. Yeah, it, it felt calm. Yeah. And it's like, anytime I get, like, a new one of those things to, like, stick in my belt, like, a new thing that's like, okay, I can just do this trick now. Yeah. Oh, it's, like, the best feeling. Like, learning tricks is great. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> but having tricks... Like that's another story making it yours uh -huh. the best feeling ever yeah and i already know like i would love to have the front flat ground ones which is fine that i don't oh I, I'm, I'm okay with that yeah as long as i can do it down stuff down stuff that's yeah. kind of how i am with cards i feel like that's pretty common though for front big spins people do them down stuff yeah or like off a, a bank or something or it's a, a notoriously awkward trick mm -hmm. uh, on flat um, yeah but the switch ones work really good for a lot of people because they get in this deep pocket right here yeah and they just sort of like and you have that comfort of going back to your regular stance that's true too same thing with switch front side flip yeah switch front big spin though that's one that uh this is gonna sound dumb it eluded me for a long time because everyone was doing them mm -hmm. and i got annoyed by it the reason i stopped hard flipping everything was because everyone Why? started doing hard flips like i was doing a lot of hard flips in like 2005 down gaps mm -hmm. and then it was like i went to tampa one year and hard flip was like the, the cool. ollie of the park. Like, I was <laughs> doing hard flip back lips wow. on the handrails and hard flip back tails Jeez. on the ledges and then yeah. hard flips over the pyramid. And I was like, I was just another guy doing those too. Except yeah. for I didn't do the hard flip back tails and I think hard flip back lips look gross. But I was like hard flipping the pyramids. Uh -huh. I was doing hard flip back fly those. And it was Damn. just like, I don't know. Like, it made me, it left a bad taste in my mouth. So, switch front side big spins is one that I'll probably try to get down now mm -hmm. just because it's like, Everyone is so good at it, and when you have it, you have it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I just want another trick to have. You know, I, I would like another to one in the bag. Get that. The Nolly heels, honestly, like even though I really didn't do that many of them, like I did yeah. the first try down the three. Uh -huh. I'm really that was excited sick, about that, dude. And it was literally the day started off with, yeah, I did, I, I did a really good flat ground Nolly heel on flat, and I was like, Sean, I know you didn't see it, but I did this. Yeah, he told me. Yeah, and then I tried to do another one, and it flipped really poorly. And you, he was literally just like, whenever I Nolly heel. I just think I make sure I nolly, I focus on sliding my foot up uh -huh. slowly, and then flick. It's yeah. a slow It's movement. not a quick. And I was like, you know, I like rush all my tricks a lot and slow yeah. that one down. Oh, what a lifesaver. Oh! It makes it pop so good. Yeah, it goes up, dude. Do a decent one. That's the old way. That That's the old way? I rushed it. Like that one, I felt as I was popping, I was like, I already know I'm rushing. That was like a lazy flick, which I didn't hate. That's cool. Not what I've been doing. Nice and poppy. Yep. Even that felt okay. Yeah, I don't know, like, the slowing it down, the better I get at skating, the more I realize it's like, slower. Slow everything down. Woo. Um, dude, I like, I don't even want to reel today by like battling or learning another mm -hmm. thing. I kind of feel good about today. I think we're just going to skate from this point on together yep. and be friends. Friends. We're going to skate together like friends. <laughs> uh, Sean filmed this video. For sure. Sean's also doing like a similar thing to me today where he's like learning tricks he doesn't normally do. So yeah. link in my bio to his YouTube channel. Uh, 
yeah, he, what are we learning today? How to hold grinds. Yeah. How to hold tables and rails. He's he, just go there. He just check me out, guys. Out. Sick. And then uh, he did a trick down three stairs. Really that was fun. Uh, yeah. That's it. Signing off. Yeah. <laughs> so Sean's doing a video with this. What do you mean? So I already got it. <laughs> oh, he almost did it. So Sean's doing a video on this board, and all the local kids are taking the shot at it. Oh! oh.